I've come to represent you. Today, the leadership of the National Unit Platform, including the party president Robert Chagulanyi, the party secretariat and some members of parliament gathered at the party headquarters for a meeting to choose opposition legislators to take up positions in parliament. After the meeting, which lasted less than an hour, the NUP Secretary General David Lewis Lubongoya read out the names that had been agreed upon to take on leadership positions in the 11th Parliament. Matthew Simpoga, the MP for Nyendomukungwe, is the lead of opposition. The chief opposition whip is Manji Account MP John Baptist Nambeshe. The deputy opposition whip is Manji Richabakutika, the woman MP for Ginger City. Francis Zakebutebu, the MP for Mitiana Municipality, will sit on the Commission of Parliament. Meda Dilbega Segona, the MP for Busilo East, will be the chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament. Jema Zasman Basalirwa, the MP for Bujiri Municipality, has been appointed as the Vice Chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee. Joel Senyonyi, the MP for Nakao West, is the Chairperson of the Committee on Commissions, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises, Kosasi. The Vice Chairperson of Kosasi is Amuru Woman MP, Lucy Akelo from FDC. The MP for Mukono Municipality, Betty Namboze, is the Chairperson of the Government Assurances Committee. The Vice Chairperson of the Government Assurances Committee is Joseph Gonzaga Seungu of Kalung West. Martin Ojalama Penduzi, the Independent MP for Budege Laibi in Gulu City, has been appointed the Chairperson of Local Government Accounts Committee. Luta Maguzi Semakulu of the Democratic Party from Nakaseke South is the Vice Chairperson of the Local Government Accounts Committee. Patrick Nsambo Shabe, MP Cassandra North, is the representative to the Pan-African Parliament. Representative to the Commonwealth Parliamental Association is David Kalwanga Luchams of Suju County. The woman MP for Cassandra District, Flavia Kalulena Bagabe, is the representative to the Interparliamentary Union. And Aisha Kavanda, the woman MP for Butambala, is a member on the Parliamentary Pension Fund. Uh, the National Unity Platform has consistently informed the nation that it will take all leadership positions available to it and use them to advance the struggle for freedom and democracy in Uganda. And to that end, we view Parliament as another front which is extremely important for this struggle. Mpuga says the country is witnessing a lot of human rights abuses, so his first task is going to be to look into the laws that protect Ugandans from these abuses. The team I'm leading shall consider a number of bills, I don't have to divulge now, a number of amendments to the constitution and existing legislations, all meant to buttress the respect for rights and uh, entrenching the rule of law and constitutionalism. Mpuga says uniting opposition members of parliament is going to be another one of his priorities. Over time, they will discover that we only differ in how to approach the elephant in the room, but we are servants of the same people. I do not in any way attempt and will never attempt to bring their own reputation into uh, this repute. John Baptist Nambeshe says he's going to whip his members against corruption and also take on other members of parliament against the vice. The concerted efforts we are mounting on our members, most of them are just useful, is not to allow to have the temptation of being bribed or being sellouts like we have seen in the past. NUP Secretary General Bongoya says as the opposition party with the largest number of MPs, they will unveil a shadow cabinet soon. Jumakiria, NTV.